other than not having my family here yet. Um, I'm loving Memphis. Uh, I'm loving Coach Porter, working for Coach Porter, and, and the team's been awesome. It's been a, uh, a real easy transition. Everyone at Memphis has been really great to us as far as uh, you know all the stuff you have to do when you first come into a new job and getting to know the people. It's been, it's been real easy. When is your family going to get here? I don't know. <laughs> We're trying to sell our house right now in Kansas City, so hopefully sooner than later. I didn't know Coach Porter at all. I think just through the coaching, you know, kind of fraternity and knowing people that know him and um, just had an opportunity to interview for the job. And um, But I didn't have a direct connection to Memphis other than being coaching in his conference before and being familiar with some of the people that he knows and, and got the job that way. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. You know, you wear so many different hats in college, where in the NFL you just do football X's and O's and um, just responsible for really your position and your area. And in, foot, in college football, you're everything from classes to uh, off the field issues to uh, on the field issues and, and, and trying to develop these young men into men versus just more business-like approach. Offensively, I've kind of uh, incorporated different things that from different places, from the Jets and from the Chiefs that I've uh, put into into our offense, and um, just some of those things that I think that'll help a lot. And and even uh, some of the things that I learned from really experienced coaches in the NFL, um, all the way down to receiver drills, to techniques, to uh, uh, the schemes and things like that. I think it, it helps you develop as a coach, and um, and sometimes uh, college kids listen when you tell them, "Hey, this is what Dwayne Bow does in the NFL," and they say, "Oh, really? So that must be good." So the, you know, they they respect that. And you have a little bit of credibility you know, coming from the NFL, so I think that helps with the with the younger kids. That's going to be very different, very, very different. You know, um, obviously never done that before, but um, it'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be fun. I don't know. I'm, the one day of the year where my whole family is going to be kind of rooting against me, but I told them that they can go 11 and 1, and I'll be cool with that. <laughs> and my mom's not too sure which way to go, but she did tell me this last summer. She's definitely rooting for UTEP, so I'm on my own. I got my wife and two kids. So it'll be fun. I'm learning how to uh, smoke ribs right now, Memphis style, so I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's been okay. I think it's been okay. You know, um, when you have a new staff and new coaches, they all approach things differently and it takes a little time for those kids to learn how you do things and uh, what you expect of them so I think uh, right from the start what we did is we kind of told them here's exactly what we expect you to do and here's how we expect you to act and be here when we tell you to do this and that and they're doing a great job of buying into what we're trying to do and they're really working really really hard I'm really pleased with um, the players that's one of the biggest biggest things right now that, uh, that I'm enjoying is the, the kids and how well they're buying into what we're doing. Um, you know, I expect to win. I actually do expect to win. I, I came here to win. I knew that Memphis has a lot of potential and um, uh, just playing against Memphis and just seeing the city and the facilities and the community and, um, and the recruiting base that we have, I think that we can definitely win, and I think we can win next year. I think we have a lot of talent, and as a coach, you never really go into a game thinking we might not win this game, or else you really shouldn't coach that game. You know, um, you might look in the paper and see a big point spread and things like that, but to be a true competitor, you got to believe that you can win, and that has to start now. And you can't start saying, "Well, this could be a rebuilding year for us." because I think you've got to go into every game planning on winning that game and competing to win that game. And if you don't win, then you go to the next 
we're going to win this game. So taking it one game at a time would be kind of the approach right now that, that I would have. And um, having a new offense, there's a lot of, a lot of new things going on right now. Um, we're going to probably keep it simple and, and try not to mess the kids up, you know, with, with a lot of schemes and different, different uh, things thrown at them. But they've done a great job with that too, and, and it's heading in the right direction.